It's a beautiful building. It's way bigger than I thought it was going to be. I like how open it is. We really like definitely. the window seats. It's definitely good that I saw a lot of space for studying. There's a Chick-fil-A in here. We'll probably be spending a lot of time here. <laughs> We had tremendous outcomes in our healthcare programs, but we had space that was inadequate. In the Florestano building, we were tight. We used every square inch of that building. We've grown as a division, both in our biology departments as well as our physical sciences. For biology, we were really spread out amongst three separate buildings. We made collaboration within our own department difficult. We have amazing faculty that know how to get it done, so we made it work. Definitely the healthcare sector is asking for more practitioners, particularly nursing. So we have strong uh, relationships with those businesses and industry and community organizations, and they're telling us what we need to be doing. So we began to look to the future. We ended up deciding that it would be better to have a new facility built. We had approval, we had funding. We had tours of other health science buildings. There were meetings with local community groups. We had to close two buildings to make this happen. I will say that we had a ringside seat from where I sat. Faculty and staff were invited to the table. We sat in hours and hours of meetings. I saw a lot of anticipation, a lot of excitement amongst faculty and staff as well as the students. We have come so far. Our 2016 plan reiterated the need for a new health and life sciences building, and here we are breaking ground. Then we reached the point where we were actually implementing everything. Of course, we had to purchase a lot of new stuff. Timelines changed, so there were some adjustments that needed to be made. They really put a lot of thought into making sure that we were able to get what we needed. The day I could finally say we are moved in, what a relief. The simulation center is something I'm very proud of that we've incorporated. There's a new surgical tech suite, new dental lab. It opens up a whole new realm for, I think, the instructors to bring their instruction into today and in the future. The building kind of offers sort of a marriage between like this very high-tech environment, but also a very welcoming space. It's so important when you're a commuter student to be able to come and comfortably spend your day. Like you are a part of a campus. It's gonna bring more positive attention to the college. It's always trying to grow. We have a seamless pathway for our students once they graduate to go right into these healthcare institutions. They'll be better prepared, not only for the workforce, but to transfer. It just shows that we're here for the community and that we really want to put our best foot forward to make sure we keep training the best healthcare workers in Maryland. like to welcome everyone to Anne Arundel Community College for the opening of our Health and Life Sciences building. This is a very exciting day for Anne Arundel Community College. This building will promote a culture of lifelong learning with a focus on student completion, meeting the diverse needs of the community while eliminating barriers for our students. From that first teaspoon of soil to the eventual ribbon cutting, I feel very excited. There's nothing better than effective teaching, and effective teaching comes a lot from being excited about what we're doing. So moving forward, I'm excited about seeing our students learn in a more real setting. I'm excited about the direction we're taking. There is so much more that we can actually do. I feel so proud of our teams. And I'm so happy to be here. I'm looking forward to just more collaboration with all of the departments within health sciences, our collaboration with biology. I've learned that um, it's possible. If there's one word that describes this project, it's teamwork. Even though this was huge, we're not done. We're not done. <laughs>